So let's check, is Elvis ready? How come the timing's off now? It's been so on all week. John Gelati's involved, that's why. Are we ready backstage? We're ready backstage. Look let's, out. Let's rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis ring. Presley. Ring, 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 ring. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Give him a shout out. Come on out, Jonathan. Come on, right over here. I know you thought you were here for a conference, but you're here for a wedding tonight. That's right. Jonathan's right here. All the gentlemen right on the side. Ladies on this side. Wonderful. You are here tonight to witness history. This is the wedding vows tonight of Jonathan and Gina. They met each other when they were five and seven years old, and they're getting married here tonight. Can I have number six? Is that number six that's playing right now? All right, then you better give me number five. <laughs> Let's get things started a little bit. You feeling the love? Feeling the energy? Feeling the heat? Well, it's a one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now. Go, cat, go, but don't you. Come on now, step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Come on down. Well, you can burn my house, steal my car, drink my liquor from an old fruit jar. Do anything that you want to do. Uh oh, honey, lay all of my shoes. And don't you worry, Gina, step on my blue suede shoes. Get on down here. Well, you can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Come on down. Welcome to Las Vegas. This is what we do every day here. Come on down. Ring bear. Flower girl. Come on down, Gina. Well, you can burn my house, steal my car, drink my leg from an old fruit jar. Doing a thing that you want to do. Oh, oh, honey, lay all of my shoes. And don't you step on my blue suede shoes. You can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. A little bit more volume on the music. Two for the show, three to get ready. Now go, cat, go, but don't you. Come on over here. Step on my blue suede shoes. Well, you can do anything but lay off of my blue suede shoes. Help me out now. Come on. Well, it's a blue, blue, blue suede shoes, baby. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, baby. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes, the dead. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes. You can do anything but lay off on my blue suede shoes. Uh -huh -huh. Woo! <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody. We are here for one reason and one reason only tonight, is that is to rock the house with the wedding vows of Jonathan and Gina. And who gives the stunningly beautiful bride away on this perfect, perfect night? Her dad. Sir, give her a big kiss on the cheek. Give this fine gentleman a handshake, Jonathan. And everyone stand back over here and enjoy the ceremony. The two of you, I want you to stand right up here facing each other so everyone can see you. And let me just say, state the obvious right here in front of everybody. Dear friends, the name is Elvis, and as you can see, I am alive and well and here tonight to celebrate. And celebrate is the key word, isn't it? Celebrate the marriage vows of Gina and Jonathan. The two of you, I'm gonna state the obvious. Everyone's thinking it here in this big room. I'm going to say it out loud, and I hope it doesn't embarrass you, but it is the truth 100%. The two of you make a smoking hot couple. Can you feel it out there? I'm just going to stand here for a second and feel the love and feel the heat coming off the two of you tonight in Vegas. Congratulations sincerely. Congratulations. Let me say just a little bit about marriage. Marriage is a wonderful tradition instituted since the time of our beginnings. Marriage is a marvelous, marvelous adventure. It's a journey taken by two, but it's also commitment, isn't it? Commitment to live together and love together and celebrate together and just work out all of life's challenges, but together. And the happiness, there is nothing but happiness on both your faces tonight. The happiness is made real when there is the utmost surrender of yourselves and your hearts to one another. Am I right, Jonathan? Absolutely. Gina and Jonathan, do you promise to continue to let your love grow very strong so that it will always, always overcome all of life's obstacles. Yes, I do. I do. Thank goodness. Otherwise, we went to a lot of trouble for nothing, didn't we? 
Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish each other and always speak the truth to each other in sickness and in health? I do. I do. Perfect. Now I want you to hold each other's hands. I want you to look into each other's eyes right now. I want you to try to remember for us right now the very, very, very first time you ever, ever, all right, maybe not that time, Jonathan. What I'm looking for here <laughs> is a really romantic time. The two of you are together. Your first dance, your first, no, this is the best story in the world, you guys. They met each other when they were five and seven years old through their parents and everything. They're, they split up. Their parents went their separate ways, all this stuff. Later on, in fa on Facebook, they found each other because they were trying to get their moms together. Little did they know, they wound up getting each other together. And here's the whole cool thing. When they look back at Gina's uh, diary when she was eight years old, she wrote in her diary that someday she was going to marry Jonathan. Huh? You can't even make that up, can you? And they wound up getting together, and they dated long distance on the phone for a long time, but they knew before they ever saw each other that they were going to marry each other. They already had fallen in love again that quick. Just think about that for a second. How many millions of people we meet in our lifetime, right? That one day they met the love of the life and changed their life forever. And it's kind of like a storybook. That's what happens at weddings. Don't we get tied up in that, that hope, that fairy tale thing where you, the, the princess and the beautiful, the handsome prince, they live happily ever after. They find the love of their life, their soulmate. And you know what? We always think that those, are, those fairy tales are not true stories, don't we? But I really am here to tell you that they're stories of the truth that's inside of all of us, that we're supposed to find the love of our life. We're hardwired to live happily ever after. And, it's who, and on a wedding day, we've got that hope in the air where we all feel it, don't we? So this is what I know. Every wrong turn you thought you took, every mistake you thought you made, every frog you had to kiss, Gina, actually brought you to stand right where you're standing right now, holding onto the hands of the love of your life. In my mind, there are no mistakes when we're on our life's journey. And this is the next chapter for the two of you, this next chapter called marriage. I've got a special song for the two of you, and I want you to maybe do a little slow dance here for this. This is dedicated to Gina from John. Just a little bit more volume. Perfect. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete And I love you so Love me tender Love me true All my dreams fulfill For my darling I love you and I always will Love me tender Love me long Take me to your heart For it's there that I belong And will never part Love me tender, love me true, all my dreams fulfill. For my Gina, John loves you, and he always will. Perfect. Give it up for him. That's right. Now, the rings that we're about to exchange with one another are symbols, symbols of an unbroken circle without a beginning, without an end, just like the two of you are coming together today as husband and wife, and I know that's the big idea, Gina, but I gotta say, way more importantly, and you already know this, as partners for life, and may your love for one another just continue to grow and continue to be wise and pure and eternal. Jonathan, do you have a ring for this beautiful young lady? Excellent. I'll hold that for you. Place that beautiful ring on Gina's left hand and repeat after me with this beautiful, expensive ring. With this beautiful, expensive ring. I V wed. I V wed. With a promise. With a promise. That my love will grow stronger. That my love will grow stronger. Throughout the years. Throughout the years. Good job. Perfect. Great. Gina, take that beautiful ring, place it on Jonathan's hand, and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token and a pledge. As a token and a pledge. Of our vows to each other. Of our vows to each other. With a promise. With a promise. That my love will never fade. That my love will never fade. 
and I'll always be as smoking hot as I am tonight. And I'll always be as smoking hot as I am tonight. I put that part in for you, Jonathan. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Now, I know it's all been fun and games, but I gotta say right now in this moment, right now in this moment, we're laughing at them, we're looking at them, they look so cute, don't they? But right now, we are all looking right now in a mirror of ourselves, believe it or not, a mirror of ourselves on our very, very best day, because none of us get any bigger or brighter, more full of love or hope or light than two people on their wedding day, pledging what? Unconditional love. It's a reminder, folks, of who we are at the very core. No matter where we grew up, red state, blue state, it does not matter. We are all resonate with love in our hearts right now in this moment. So I got a serious question. I know it's kind of been fun and games, but I got a serious question. I got to ask both of you, before I can pronounce you, truly, happily married for the rest of your lives. Happily is the key word. So think about this before you answer. Don't just blurt out the first thing that pops in your heads. All right, here we go. Gina, Jonathan, do you promise to adopt each other's hound dogs? Never wear your blue suede shoes in the rain or those sandals either. Always, always be each other's teddy bears. And always, always give each other, especially you, Big Jonathan, a hunk, a hunk, a burning love. I do. I do. I do, I do is the right answer. So by the power vested in me, the king, and this crazy great state of Nevada that made me a minister, it is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful bride, Jonathan. Everybody give it up for this beautiful couple. Congratulations, you two. Let's get the party started. Crank it up. Bright light of city, gonna set my soul, gonna set my soul on fire. I got a whole lot of money that's ready to burn, so get those stays up high. Oh, there's a thousand pretty women waiting out there, and they're all living the devil may care, and I'm just a devil with a love to spare. And Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Oh, how I wish that there were more than 24 hours in the day. Oh, even if there were 40 more, well, I wouldn't sleep a minute away. Oh, there's blackjack and poker and the roulette wheel. A fortune won and lost on every deal. All you need is a strong heart and a nervous deal. Sing it with me now. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. So nice to meet the two of you tonight. There's only one more thing I want you to do for me, Jonathan. Keep your Elvis mojo working, brother, and march your beautiful bride down the aisle. Everybody give it up one more time for them. Gina and Jonathan just got married. You rock. Congratulations. All our friends watching, thank you so much. You rock. Kate coming up on stage that we just want to share with you and then we're going to get started with DJ Vitrix. Congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Gelati. I don't know about you, but only in Vegas, huh? As you can see, we truly are family as quirky as we can be getting married by Elvis Presley. 